We are in the heart of traditional music here. I'm often smiling when I'm dancing. It feels just like a conscious community that we would have back home. You don't think about anything in your regular life while you're dancing. If you're stressed out at work, it just goes away. It creates an incredible energy that, um, you know, can pull you out of the doldrums at times. You're using your mind, spirit, and body, and moving and getting that heart rate up when you're having fun. So much more fun than going to a gym or doing any of these other things. Um, and the social side of things is wonderful. We've met dancers from all over. The Country Dance and Song Society is, uh, is 100 years old this year. So it's a dance camp on wheels. Teams of bands and colors travel around to various parts of the U.S. and Canada. Frank, Frank Lanza, filled out an application, sent it in early on. Um, actually, the first application that came in. This kind of dancing I've been doing since 1991. Some friends uh, dragged us out to a, a dance at the Glenog Hall, and that's where it all started. With Bebel Leota, who really restored country dancing to the Gray County neighborhood. She would phone up people. We take the kids, and we do a variety of uh, a variety of dances. It was very organic. I really enjoyed the inclusive feeling at the dances. I could come on my own. There was a few of us in Owen Sound said we want to dance kind of more regularly and said okay well let's form a group and well what should we call ourselves and I think Willie came up with the name Fiddle Fern. I just come out when I can and they dance once a month here in Owen Sound and I love it. <laughs> The neat thing here is you either have the local band, which is phenomenal, or they bring in some fabulous bands from away. Visiting musicians are always very impressed by the variety and the number and the talent of our local musicians. People are incredibly enthusiastic. They appreciate the music. There's lots of different kinds of dancing here. We're a small enough community that people know each other. And it's open to everybody, whether you know the dances or not. Friendly community. People help you learn. You kind of lean back a bit and get a little scooter motion going. Get that other foot giving you a bit of a push. You always know that there's a caller that's going to teach a dance, and I think that's the key, is if you have a, 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 a good uh, instructions, then it makes it really, really clear. And routine. Yeah. Somebody knows what's going to happen because yeah. you're letting them know before, the, before it's going to happen. So the caller is the person who sets the tone and who welcomes people. Picking dances that are not over the heads of really anybody in the room. Because my job is really to get things started and get out of the way so people can groove on the music. I really like the idea of of the teaching portion and, and of you know it just it's a different dynamic working with the band and the, the dancers. We've given people opportunity to call, opportunities to walk through dances, they get a chance to talk to the musicians and figure out how to match tunes and dances. I always try and talk about and get the workshop just to talk about playing for dances and what dancers really need in the music. If it's a lot of long movements, go all the way down the hall and come back up again and then swing. We'll pick a tune that has really long phrases in it so that we can play with that, so we can delineate for the dancers where things start to stop. The residencies are focused on outreach, um, including outreach to schools and to youth and uh, bringing young people in to uh, introduce to con contra dance. All the way from the most adorable little kindergartners to 17-year-old men. In a crowd of high schoolers, um, I have to walk in the room and really sell the experience to them. Kids who have danced, maybe danced once or maybe not danced at all. The kids were wonderful, enthusiastic, laughed, had a great time, danced really well, and I hope they'll come back. That was so much fun. The dancing in general, I really enjoyed the fun dancing. I expect that this week and the work we've done leading up to this week will have a large impact. And I think what you'll see is 
additional callers and musicians workshops and tune sessions, maybe even dancing more often. And there are so many people responding to it and showing up. It seems like it's going to, um, to bear fruit for a while and, uh, and build this community further. Thank you.